Nabad, enriching resources in watershed areas through soil conservation measures and community participation. In India, it is estimated that two-thirds of cultivated area is rain-fed. But frequent droughts and failure of monsoon wreak havoc for the farming sector, leading to uncertainty and poor crop production in rain-fed areas. In order to address climate change issues along with restoration and rehabilitation of degraded soils for ensuring food security, NABAD along with KFW of Indo-German Watershed Development Program launched the Integrated Watershed Development for Rehabilitation of Degraded Soils and Climate Change Adaptation project in 2016 in various NABAD-aided watershed projects. Under this intervention, NABAD has done pioneering work in pilot districts in Andhra Pradesh that have scanty rainfall. This is being done through the active involvement of Gram Panchayats, community-based organizations, local people, SHGs and local NGOs. The NGOs systematically implemented the program phase-wise in each KFW soil project. Under soil and water conservation measures, a range of activities were employed. Soil samples were sent for soil testing in government-approved labs. Based on the test reports, the farmers planned the crops season-wise. The NGOs facilitated erection of field buns, stone outlets, stone field buns, water absorption trenches, stone gully plugs, check dam, farm ponds, mini percolation tanks. All these measures helped groundwater retention. As a result, the groundwater level rose and the bore wells steadily supply water to the fields. A series of innovative methods were adopted by the NGOs to ensure soil improvement and productivity enhancement of agricultural produce. The water trenches serve dual purpose. During rainy season, the trenches stored water. After the rainy season got over, the trench land was used for cultivation of tomatoes, jowar, Bengal gram, etc. farmers adopted green manure cultivation. Silt application from the desilted water tanks were strewn in the fields that aided in soil health improvement. The farmers used biofertilizers in the fields and constructed vermin compost units that led to its usage in the fields resulting and considerable reduce of pest attacks on the crops. Leaf color charts, pheromone traps were distributed to the farmers to shield the crops from pest attacks. Reduced usage of fertilizers brought down the cost of cultivation. Periodic trainings and exposure visits were organized for the benefit of the farmers. Agri tool banks have come up in the villages that are useful to farmers to employ sustainable agricultural practices that also help environmental protection. 
an attitudinal change is noticeable among the small holding farmers who evinced active interest in farming and adopted a change in cropping patterns. The farmers took up crop rotation, groundnuts to banana, banana to tomatoes, horse gram, red gram, cowpea, Bengal gram, millets, groundnuts, paddy, chilies, etc. They also grew intercrops as well as alternate crops and adopted bunt planting. The Village Knowledge Resource Centre has become a vital source for disseminating information among the farmers regarding agricultural best practices, market trends, etc. To provide weather information to farmers, the PFA set up a weather station that puts up reports like wind velocity, wind direction, temperature, etc. Horticulture plantation is yielding good results. Floriculture has also been taken up. As an alternate source of livelihood, backyard poultry units and livestock were distributed to the farmer families. Fodder plots meant for livestock mushroomed in the fields. Each house has developed a kitchen garden and backyard fruit plantation. Several hectares of wastelands were brought under cultivation. All these activities resulted in vastly improving the vegetation cover in the region. The KFW soil projects initiated by NABAD and implemented by the NGOs has ushered in a holistic approach towards overall development. All these have had spin-off benefits for a large number of farmers as the crop yield increased steadily year after year.